So I'm going to tell you why Coastal Carolina needs to be a top 10 team, but we need to start with this. They beat Brigham Young University, which is a top 15 team according to most of you, and was a top 10 team according to the Associated Press. And I wrote about this at Fox Sports. I wanted BYU to schedule a Power 5 team, or even better, a top 25 team in the college football playoff rankings to prove they are either underrated, as many of you told me that they were, or they are overrated, as I have been trying to tell you that they were. And they finally decided to live up to that moniker. They wanted it anytime, any place. They got anyone. Coastal Carolina in Conway, South Carolina, in front of 5,000 fans, in which we saw one of the great college football games of the season, and it was put together almost overnight. Jamie Chadwell told me, we got some inkling that this game could be played that Wednesday. I asked our grad assistants and our analysts to start pulling some games and putting together some film, and by Saturday at 4.30 Central Time, they were kicking off this game, and everybody you know was clued in to the shot declares versus the Cougars, and we got a magnificent game in which Coastal Carolina improves to 10 and 0, and now has wins against two top 25 opponents. And somehow, we're still looking at Georgia, ranked inside the top 10, with two losses. You're trying to tell me that losing to Alabama and Florida is better than being 10 and 0 in the Sun Belt with a win against ULL and BYU. Now you can throw out BYU's win against Boise State. We understand they were undermanned, but there were a lot of folks that wanted BYU to be considered for a college football playoff spot, or at very least, a New Year's Six spurt. Why aren't we doing the same thing with Coastal Carolina, who beat a top 25 Louisiana Lafayette, the same Louisiana Lafayette that beat Iowa State by multiple touchdowns, and Iowa State is playing in the Big 12 championship game on December 19th, and oh, by the way, also beat Oklahoma, who they're going to face in said Big 12 championship game. Now we got Coastal Carolina getting ready to play a game against ULL for the Sun Belt Conference title, in which case we also need to say the Big 12 has become a consolation game for the Sun Belt, or as I prefer to see it, the Sun Belt is playing for the territorial allotment, also known as the Big 12. If you're going to actually rank teams, you should rank them based on how many games they won and how many games they lost. That number in the loss column needs to mean more than that number in the win column, which is another way of saying this is the year of the group of five. Cincinnati is showing us how. The shot declares are showing us how. ULL is showing us how. And Tulsa is showing us how you can make this a national sport. The problem we have in college football today is that we are so tribal and regional in our beliefs and the teams we think are worthy of our consideration. In BYU and Coastal Carolina, we have proven there is an appetite for national college football on the scene. BYU traveling from Provo to Conway, Everybody you know wanted a part of that game and wanted to say they watched that game and they lived up to the billing of mullets versus Mormons. And now we've got a Cinderella story. And isn't that what makes the NCAA tournament so great that anybody can get Ali Farouk Maneshed? As we're talking about the same four, five, and six teams that we think are the best teams to play in a college football playoff rather than putting them in a bracket and making them play for the right to be called a national champion. Because Coastal Carolina wins the Sun Belt, wins their bowl game, you're in for another UCF situation. Where you claiming a national championship because nobody beat you and I am going to wear a Coastal Carolina national championship shirt if for no other reason than to prove the point. You don't want them to say that they're champions, put them in the playoff. If you don't see them as a fit in a 14 playoff, expand the playoff. And in expanding the playoff, make college football the national sport it needs to be. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. 
From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.